know that's related to the vehicle. Um, I thought I'd do this one today because there's not a lot of people I say massively good things about the Grenadier, but I've got one for the weekend. Thanks to Dents and Car Sales would let me in. Um, and I'm probably that kind of person that's not going to listen to all the feedback so far and just try it. I know the everybody's saying that it's overpriced in this market, but here we go. So initial thoughts of it so far. Um, I'm in a five-seater, uh, I just Grenadier diesel. Um, it's, it's, it is extremely nice to be in. It's definitely got a military feel, as in the switch gear, etc. Um, it possibly a little bit disconnected to steering if you're into sporty vehicles. Um, but coming from a Defender 110, and we're talking a 2014, so the old classic shape Defender, it's a far improvement to that, as in power for a start. You know, it's, this will sit on the dual carriageway at the legal limits, dead easy. The ZF gearbox is, is typical of BMW gearbox. I can't even feel it changing gear hardly. I'm um, very smooth on the gearbox. The steering, it takes some getting used to. I actually laughed at myself when I first got in it because you've got to drive it. It's It's got a feeling of slight disconnection, I guess, compared to some of the modern steering. But I don't mind the quickness of the steering. I think it's quite, it's quite, um, it needs an input and that's quite good as well. So, first impressions, I've only done a few miles on it. I'm sat on the dual carriage room, making your seats under the six or seven mile an hour. I'm extremely comfortable. This vehicle's got the Alpine glass in it, so I've got all the light coming in. That's what it's called in this vehicle. Um, I like it so far. Obviously, I'm taking it off road. I've done nothing yet. I've got a weekend to try all different variants of this one. But Denton, what a nice set of guys. I've got a full tank of fuel in this vehicle. And here's the keys, enjoy it. You know, bring it back when you're ready. You know, where else to get that? You know, I know the brand is, is a modern brand and obviously you want to get people out there. Um, and I'm not 100% sure what the market is, but for somebody like me, a company director where I need a commercial vehicle, I need a vehicle that I can use for work, that blends in in a work environment when I need it, has towing ability, and gives you that sort of look what I go for in a vehicle. It's like a bit of a rugged look. Um, and so far, that does tick the box. Now, I have drive, driven, driven, I have driven the new Defender, and I do like the new Defender, don't get me wrong, it's a, it's a fantastic modern vehicle. But I've got, I drive a series Land Rover. I like an original Land Rover. I do like that. So I'm not going to waffle on about, you know, the vehicles that I've had in the past. I turned up here this morning at my Golf R. I'm my nearly the moments when I'm running around and got a 2018 Golf R. It's totally different. You know, that thing's smooth. The DSG box is fantastic. So I guess so far what I'm looking at, visibility out the back window is not the best. You look and see a pillow in the middle. So I think if you had one of those um, camera rear rear mirrors like you get in a Land Rover, that's probably a plus point. I'd like to see heads up display because that would be a good thing as well because it's very much Tesla lights where they, the screen slightly offset to the to the left hand side. But I'm going to leave it for now. I'm going to drive around in it. I'm going to get used to it. I'm going to just have a play around with it, etc. and go from there. But I just want to do an initial thoughts video. So far, I'm impressed. Thanks, guys. Well, I've just pulled over a quick little bit video of the spec and the dashboard layout and this one Love your bed. What would make this the best Christmas ever? Bringing home the biggest tree to decorate or in... Right, I'm a little bit further into my first drive of the new Air Grenadier. Probably in about 25, 30 miles or so now. I'm going through uh, my main city town. And then obviously now country roads a little bit, sort of 
semi row you can probably see there they have got the alpine window open at the top so I'm hoping that you can hear me okay with volume size of it but I'm quite impressed with it um, it's a really weird one I, I had the reservations over the stair when I first got on it it made me laugh because the way the steering is in it but you know what I actually quite like that it's you don't have to fight with it people seem to work the steering what a lot of rubbish it just you know in my opinion the, the steering is fine it's, it's purposeful to what it is it's not a sports car it's, it's a big 4x4 um, it, it's alright you know if you really you can let go of the steering and the vehicle stays in a straight line I guess what they're saying, if you let go of the steering, it'd be a straight line no matter what the road's doing. So if you went round a corner, you you know, you ain't going round the corner. But overall, I'm like, I'm finding it nice and nice and chunky and solid. Um, whether that's a good thing or not, but to me, I like the position of this of, of it and how it drives. The visibility is okay. The small screen is very much in a uh, homage to the Defender. Um, and I, and I really, really like my 110 Defender, so I don't mind the, re the front visibility. I'm a little bit of a nick up on the rear visibility because you can't see anything behind you. Um, but you know what? I'm not massively bothered what's behind me. Um, I don't have to be bothered what's in front of me. Um, but, but that side of it, I think if you had the camera, you'd resolve that. And I think you could probably change the rear view mirror for something with a camera like you got the rest of them. But anyway, that might be a first two. That's something they may consider later on in the range. Um, but I don't mind anything about it so far. Um, I don't want to be waffling on because end of the day you tend to find that you waffle on about a lot of rubbish. So so far I'm liking it. It's it's quite punchy. Yes, yeah, that BMW engine. If you stick it in a three series, it's going to be the best all round car you've ever had. It's just good at miles per gallon. The fast, the smooth with that gearbox. It's a different beast in here. It has got. A little bit of noise in it because it's pulling I'm probably expecting a few tons with the weight but it does pick its feet up it does accelerate okay it just pull fine it pulls away from the lights okay and the gearbox changes smoothly and quickly I haven't tried any modes of whether you can I'm not even sure whether it, I, I've actually got the sport mode in it still I haven't tried that because end of the day I don't think it's a sports car but as an overall you know, motion around vehicle around town or going to country roads or uses you daily. Looks good. I'm liking the vibes of the G Wagon Stroke Defender looks. I'm loving the halo headlights. You know, ultimately, if I was a millionaire, I'd have a G Wagon, but I'm not a millionaire, so I'd have a G Wagon. Um, but so far, so good. I don't really I'll say at the moment. I'm going to take some pictures of it. I'm going to find somewhere to pull over, get a couple of pictures of it. It's about three degrees at the moment outside, so it's quite cold, but I'm toasting it because I've sat with heated seats on and I've actually opened the roof now to let some fresh air in because I'm a little bit too warm. Um, but there you go. I'm just going to call for a coffee. I'm probably just going to see if I can reverse it up a driveway, take some pictures of it, then up a little driveway at my parents' house because I've got off-road parking and it'll be nice just to have a proper walk around it. Um, I'd like to show my dad it as well because they're a bit of an old-fashioned, they, they like the old Land Rovers, so it'd be, it'd be rude not to have it, uh, have it at this period of time and show them it as well. So there we go, carry on driving. Catch you again, bye-bye. Morning, day two on the Grenadier. So I've dropped the vehicle now for a day, just day two obviously, so maybe three days over. Um, for those who are listening, it's, I'm actually quite liking it. It's um, it's very good. It's a really frosty day today in Yorkshire. Um, it's ground frost. The car defrosted really quickly. The heated seats are fantastic. Um, the steering, you know what? I, the people say it's disconnected, but, but if if you haven't had like the discoveries or the new uh, defenders, you, you jump in this and you wouldn't be you wouldn't be all concerned about the steering. It goes. It drives fine absolutely fine um, as a road vehicle it's it's just bigger than your face it's, it's very much like a g-wagon or jeep or one of those just on size um build quality of it's all right you know it's i just had an evening away um it's easy enough to park it's